Um, climate change. How to explain that is um, years ago um, it used to be called global warming. This is done. Now, <laughs> quite and down a bit. Come on, come on. Now, uh, it used to be called global warming, and then when scientists could no longer deny that the earth was cooling, they changed it, the term to climate change. So that's why you know, and the whole thing is a lot of shite. It's uh, all being done to police us, to police us financially, and to keep us penned in. Also, about 20 years ago, um, my father-in-law was saying, "Oh, you have to buy a house up a hill. Have to buy a house up a hill because we were told the sea level was going to rise by, you know, so many meters, and Scot half of Scotland will be under seawater." It hasn't happened. It hasn't risen at all, and the whole thing is a climate con. Okay, so they change global warming to climate change. That's how to explain that one. 20 minute neighbourhoods. Right. And again, uh, the low emission zones. This is all I'm going to put. What's that? Oh, to be. They want be people to move around to this side, away from the traffic. like Amazon online shopping to boom. So it's another attack on businesses. Now, if there's a planter in the middle of the street and it's blocking your way and it's making you a loss, why not just take a bucket and throw a bit of earth out of it? Just, and everyone does it. Everyone does it. We can't let them restrict our movement. They've done it before and they're not doing it again. So we disrupted their plans because it is their plans, it's not our plans. Right. Um, and also the central bank digital currency. Well, I could talk for 30 minutes on that, but I'm not going to. The main thing is, if you're buying alcohol, pay by cash. Okay? Now, nobody wants the government knowing that every purchase, and if you do, you're off your head. And you want to be able to give some cash to a homeless person and live our lives unmonitored. Right? And um, the main thing about that is then, I love cash, use cash every day. It's so simple, tell people to keep using cash. Cash is freedom. And if a business won't take your cash, boycott it. And they'll soon learn their lesson. Right, once trade has fallen so much. Right, now this is a bit of a race against time because these um, psychopathic globalists are implementing all these tyrannical things all at the same time. So, we just have to keep resisting, delaying, you know, and something good might happen in the meantime. So, that's what we do. We resist, we delay, and we just say no to everything. If you don't feel comfortable, now, this brings me on to the digital. 
their digital identity, which the Scottish Government has spent 83.5 83 million on, million on without asking our permission. 83 million on something to enslave us. Who wants to get government permission to buy or go anywhere? Because that's what it is. And every country it's been implemented in is used to exclude, to stop people getting food stamps, to stop people getting their grain rations in India. I mean, it's so sinister. It's unfucking believable. But the thing about the, the thing about the digital ID, which is so sneaky is they're not saying, they're not sending a form to everyone's home and saying, oh, can you fill this in, give us our, you know, your details and uh, consent to this, or, but they're just doing it sneakily, like voter ID, and they say, oh, get it now, you've got it ahead, ahead of time, you know, and your bus pass, oh, turn your phone around, we'll just take a picture of your face, or, or we want a fingerprint. Well, basically, don't give your body parts to anybody who asks, right? Don't do it. Say, what's the manual system? My phone doesn't work. Be the awkward squad. Right, so I think that's, um, wait a minute, we'll end on a positive note. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's basically it. But I think we're doing everything right, planting seeds of doubt, you know, little things, little leaflets. Uh, little messages everywhere to make people um, question, you know, what's happening, what's been inflicted on us, as we keep saying inflicted, because uh, these politicians in, in Holyrood or the councillors, they say, oh, you prove, you prove the vaccine's dangerous. No, you made the emergency legislation, you procured the emergency drugs, you prove, you prove it. We don't have to prove anything. Just leave us alone. Leave us alone. Deliver our lives in peace without your intervention. They don't seem to know what they're there to do. We'd be far safer if they did nothing. Think how, think how well we'd sleep if these politicians did nothing. Wouldn't we sleep well? Wouldn't we sleep well at night? They're domestic terrorists. I mean, that, that's, at the end of the day, that's what they are. And until the police arrest the people who made this, that emergency legislation, unless they arrest them all, because no drugs would be getting shot into anyone's arm if they hadn't passed that barbaric Coronavirus Act and its Scottish equivalent. So let's arrest them. Keep putting pressure on the police to arrest them if they don't arrest them. We're coming up with other plans to go for you.